friends myself you will kodia from lg institute of engineering and technology so in last session we discuss uh, for one numerical based on four bar mechanism and uh, also we discuss how to find the value of force or line of action of force or value of torque in four bar mechanism clear so in today session we have to discuss one more interesting topic that is uh, dynamically or kinetically equivalent system clear uh, how we can consider any of the system is a uh, equivalent or dynamically as well as kinetically so we have to discuss this topic in this uh, lecture clear okay so dynamically or kinetically equivalent system in order to determine the motion of rigid body under the action of external force it is usually convenient to replace the rigid body by two masses placed at a fixed distance apart in such a way that you see in this figure there is one rigid body mass of rigid body that is capital F now we have to consider this rigid body as a two mass system mass M1 and M2 clear we have to consider this rigid body as a two mass system for find out this body is a dynamically equivalent or not clear capital G indicates center of gravity this rigid body have two masses M1 and M2 now and uh, capital M indicate the mass of the body and uh, the distance of this rigid body that is capital L now distance between M1 and M that is small L1 and distance between M and M2 that is small L2 clear and uh, uh, small m1 indicated as a capital A small m2 indicated as a capital B so the distance of be between A and B that is capital L and distance between A and G that is small l1 and distance between G and capital B that is small l2 clear now for any of the body uh, we consider as a dynamically or kinetically equivalent whenever this three condition is satisfied then and then any of the body consider as a dynamically or kinetically equivalent system clear okay so first of all uh, there is a, a first three condition we have to discuss and this three condition is satisfied then and then we can consider any of the body is a dynamically or kinetically equivalent first the sum of their masses is equal to the total mass of the body means uh, uh, mass of the rigid body that is capital M. Now we consider this body as a two mass system M1 and M2. So total of these two masses is equal to the mass of the rigid body. So mass of the rigid body is small m. We consider two, four, two masses that is M1 and M2. So total of M1 and M2 is same as the uh, mass of the rigid body. So M1 plus M2 is equal to M. That is first condition. If first condition is satisfied now second condition the center of gravity of two mass co coincide with that of the body now the value of uh, m1 l1 is equal to m2 l2 clear now distance between uh, m and m1 that is small l1 and distance between m and m2 that is small l2 so the value of m1 and m2 is different but also distance of L1 and L2 is also different clear but the multiplication of M1 L1 is equal to M2 L2 must be same then and then you can consider any of the body is a dynamically equivalent system clear so first condition is M1 plus M2 is equal to M second condition M1 L1 is equal to M2 L1 now third condition the sum of mass moment of inertia now you all know what is the equation of mass moment of inertia now capital i indicate m k square m indicate mass k indicate radius of gyration but in this case we have to consider radius of gyration as a l1 and l2 value of k for mass 1 that is l1 value of radius of gyration for mass 2 that is l2 so, so some of the mass moment of inertia of uh, about their center of gravity is equal to mass moment of inertia of the body clear so mass moment of inertia of the rigid body is the same as the total mass moment of inertia of uh, m1 and m2 so mass moment of inertia of m1 that is uh, m1 l1 square 
mass moment of inertia of the second mass M2 that is M2 L2 square and mass moment of inertia of the rigid body that is M into kg square. So M1 L1 square plus M2 L2 square is equal to M into kg square. Then and then if these three conditions is satisfied then and then you can consider any of the bodies dynamically or kinetically equivalent system. Yeah. Now based on this three equation we have to derive one common equation or one relationship between uh, radius of gyration and distance of masses so that is small l1 and l2. When these three conditions are satisfied then it is said to be an equivalent dynamically system. Clear? Now small m. First of all we have to discuss some basic uh, terminology of this system. Small m indicate mass of the body, small kg indicate radius of gyration about its center of gravity, m1 and m2 indicate two masses which form a dynamical equivalent system. Clear? Small l1 indicate distance of mass m1 from capital G, small l2 indicate distance of mass m2 from capital G. Capital L indicate total distance between mass M1 and M2. Yeah, so this is the basic terminology. Now we have three equations or we have three conditions that is M1 plus M2 is equal to M. First one, M1 and L1 is equal to M2 L2 that is second one. From equation 1 and 2, now you can uh, write uh, from equation 1 and 2 from uh, in below equation that is m1 is equal to now from equation 2 you have to subject uh, m1 clear so m1 is equal to m2 l2 upon l1 clear now you have to put the value of m1 is equal to l2 m upon l1 plus l2 clear you have to calculate value of m1 and m2 from equation 1 and 2 so first of all you have to put a value of m1 now value of m1 from equation 2 that is m2 l2 upon l1 and this value you have to put in equation number 1 from equation 1 you have to common value m2 and find out value of m2 and based on this you have to put value of m2 in equation number 1 and you can find out the value of m1 clear so that is equation number 4 and equation number 5 from equation 1 and 2 you have to solve these two equations and you will get value of m1 and m2. Clear? Uh, now uh, again I explain you from equation 1 and 2 from value of equation 2 value of m1 that is m2 l2 upon l1 you have to put this value in equation number 1 and find value of m2. After that value of m2 you have to put value of m2 in equation number 1 and find value of m1. So that two value is uh, m1 is equal to m n2 upon l1 plus l2 that is equation number 4 and m2 is equal to m l1 upon l1 plus l2 that is equation number 5. Clear? So equation 4 and 5 you can calculate from equation 1 and equation number 2. Clear? Now uh, we have third condition. Clear? Or equation number 3 that is m m1 l1 square plus m2 l2 square is equal to m into kg square. Now substituting the value of m1 and m2 in equation 3. So put the value of m1 and m2 that we already derived between equation number 4 and equation number 5. Put this value over here. So equation converted in the form of m l2 upon l1 plus l2 into l1 square plus m l1 upon l1 plus l2 into l2 square is equal to m into kg square. Clear? Now you can take LCM. Now you all know how to take LCM from this equation because in denominator a value of from the first and second term is same that is L1 plus L2. So you have to add the numerator terms. Clear? So and you also uh, common the value of L1 L2 from the numerator. So L1 L2 bring bracket L1 plus L2 in denominator L1 plus L2. So from the upper side and from the lower side L1 plus L2 is cancelled out. So equation converted in the form of L1 into L2 is equal to kg square. So this is the condition of the any of the body if we consider that body is a dynamically equivalent system or a kinematically equivalent system at that time.
this condition must be satisfied. That is a radius of uh, the square of radius of gyration is equal to multiplication of distance L1 and L2. Clear? So whenever any of the body consider as a dynamically or kinetically equivalent system, these three conditions must be satisfied. First one. M1 plus M2 is equal to M. Second one, M1 L1 is equal to M2 L2. Third one, M1 M2 L1 square plus M2 L2 square is equal to M into Kg square. Now, based on this, this three equation, we derive one common condition. Clear? That condition is L1 L2 is equal to Kg square. Clear? Kg indicates radius of gyration. L1 indicates distance of M1 from capital G, and L2 indicates distance of M2 from capital G. Clear? And from equation 1 and 2, that is m is equal to m1 plus m2 and m1 l1 is equal to m2 l2. Based on this equation, you can calculate value of small m1 and m2. Clear? So, based on this, uh, we have to consider uh, this uh, the condition as a uh, dynamically or kinematic equivalent system. Whenever we consider any of the body at that time, these three conditions and one common condition is that l1 l2 is equal to kg square must be satisfied then and then you can consider any of the body is a kinetically equivalent system clear so from the basic fundamental you have to remember uh, what is mass moment of inertia now you have you also understand value of mass moment of inertia of mass m1 and value of mass moment of inertia of m2 uh, the value is a uh, different and also the value of mass moment of inertia of the rigid body is also different clear but one condition is satisfied that is mass moment of inertia m1 and m2. If you add this value to value at that time, this value must be equal to the mass moment of inertia of the rigid body. Clear? Okay. So this uh, uh, total these three conditions is satisfied. And uh, you have to remember all these three conditions and this equation also because in numerical. Uh, all the equations are used. So you have to remember total four equations m1 plus m2 is equal to m, m1 l1 is equal to m2 l2, m1 l1 square plus m2 l2 square is equal to mk square, and fourth l1 l2 is equal to kg, kg square. If you simplify this equation again, then kg is equal to under root l1 l2. Clear? So this is the uh, theory of the dynamically or kinetically equivalent system. So in next session we will start one new topic.